Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. MTG Box Analysis here to take another look at Fallout. So we've got our second collector booster box. There's the number in case you're following along. We have already opened up a previous box for the One Draven. Uh, he did very well, so I'm hoping uh, that I can pull off a miracle and do just as well. So this box is all mine. Uh, so all the cards in here are going either into my collection or some of them will go up on my TCG player storefront. So if you are interested in buying singles, uh, I will have a few available. Uh, not every single card in the box though, promise you that. So we've got 12 packs of goodness here. We're gonna crack them open. We're gonna put the price on the screen. And then at the end, we're gonna do the full MTG box analysis to find out the true value of this box. So a big shout out to the store that did not cancel the pre-order. That was uh, Fanatomic. Uh, they were really good. Talked to them throughout the process. Um, was very nervous that they were gonna cancel my pre-orders at $241.93, but they came through. It was a little bit late, but that's okay. Um, so let's kick this one off with a forest, followed by uh, Three Dog Galaxy News DJ. Then we're gonna see ourselves a Talisman of Indulgence with a Heroic Intervention. Then we're gonna see ourselves Sean, Father of Synths. Then we're gonna see a Talisman of res uh, Resilience. Then we're going to get the Three Dog Galaxy News DJ, but this time an extended art non-foil. Then we're going to see ourselves a Dragon Skull Summit, followed by a Marcus Mutant Mayor. Then we're going to see ourselves a Mechanized Production, followed by a Nuka Nuke Launcher in the Search Foil Treatment. Then we're going to see ourselves an Hour of Reckoning and Surge, with a Scattered Groves also in Surge. Then we're going to see ourselves a Securian Squadron coming in in the Showcase Treatment with a Radstorm coming in in foil in the back. Then we get a Treasure and a Clue Token. All right. So feels like an okay pack number one. No home runs. None of the, uh, the borderless uh, Fallout-themed cards in that particular pack. So I'm hoping we get a few of those. Or a Soul Ring. All right, we got ourselves some planes, followed by an isolated chapel. Then we're going to see ourselves a ruthless radrant. Then we're going to see ourselves a jungle shrine, followed by a Liberty Prime recharge coming in uh, in foil. Then we're going to struggle for Project Purity with a Sentry Bot in extended art, followed by a single combat, combat also in extended art. Then we get Strong, the Brutish Thespian coming in uh, in foil with a Glacial Fortress. And then we're going to see Liberty Prime Recharge, this time in the uh, Surge Foil Extended Art, followed by a Dragon Skull Summit. And then we're going to see ourselves Vault 75 Middle School with a Toxic Sheep Squatch, which is a gem raiser uh, in the Showcase Treatment. And behind that, we're going to see ourselves a Foil Borderless Nuka-Cola Vending Machine coming in in the uh, Pip-Boy um, Borderless Treatment. Very nice to see that. It's going to be a tremendous hit for us, so we'll put that right up top. And then uh, we've got ourselves a Junk tro Token with a copy. All right, so that was definitely the best pack out of the two that we've opened thus far. Still got 10 more to go. This time we're going to see ourselves a Surge Foil Planes. This is the most expensive basic land that you can get is the Planes in the Surge Foil Treatment. And then we're going to see ourselves Agent Frank Horgan, followed by Rose uh, Cutthroat Raider with a strong back. Then we're going to see ourselves the Pardwin Steel Flagship with a Talisman of Curiosity. Then we're going to see Struggle for Project Purity in Extended Art with an Exotic Orchard, then we're going to see ourselves a Wild Wasteland, followed by Assemble the Legion, and then we're going to see ourselves a Synth Adjudicator, or Eradicator, I should say. Then we're going to see the Blood Forge Battle Axe with a Crush Contraband, and we're going to see ourselves a Synth Infiltrator coming in a non-foil showcase with the Wise Mothman coming in in foil showcase. This is going to be a really good hit for us. And then we get our uh, Soldier and a Radiation Token. So we'll go ahead and put the Wise Mothman up top. These packs are extremely difficult to open. There we go. And considering the, 
the cost of these packs and the value of the cards inside, I am going to take my time and make sure I open them just right. All right, so there's the non-surge uh, foil version of the exact same planes. Not worth as much. And then we're going to see ourselves a Sentry Bot in surge foil with a Secure the Wastes. Then we're going to see a Sun Petal Grove with a Red Death Shipwrecker. A rampaging Yao Guai with uh, Mr. House President and CEO Extended Art with an Irrigated Farmland. And then we're going to see ourselves a Radish the Founder with a Chaos Warp. Then we get Red Death Shipwrecker Extended Art Surge Foil with a Canopy Vista coming in uh, in the Surge Foil treatment. Followed by Casualties of War, our third uh, Extended Art uh, in Surge. And then we're going to see ourselves a Ravages of War coming in in the Borderless Showcase treatment. Very nice. And then we're going to see ourselves a Specimen 73, which is the Hornet Queen in foil, with an Energy Reserve and a Warrior. All right, so I'm going to take a half a second here, and I'm going to clean up some piles and make some room. All right, sliding into our next pack here. So right now, other than one of the serialized cards, of which uh, there are seven, uh, the serialized to, I believe it's 500. Um, other than that, the most expensive card that you can pull is a Soul Ring in the Pip-Boy Borderless Treatment, uh, as well as in Surge Foil. So if you can pull one of those, that's hundred and almost $150. Um, we didn't get that right away, so we got ourselves a mountain. Then we're going to see ourselves a Vault 75 Middle School, followed by Mr. House President and CEO. Then we get ourselves an Acquired Mutation, followed by a Terramorphic Expanse. Then we're going to see a Temple of Malady, followed by a Brotherhood Scribe. And then we're going to see Assemble the Legion with Red Death Ship Shipwrecker. Then we're going to see Sheltered Thicket, followed by a Sentry Bot in the Surge Foil Treatment. Then we're going to see a Temple, a temple of Abandonment. Electrophism, followed by a Vats in the Showcase, and I already kind of gave it away, a Ravages of War in the Foil Borderless. Wow. All right. That is awesome. We'll put that right there, and then we get a Treasure and a Human Soldier. Uh, the tokens in this set, uh, not high value, so I wouldn't go after those. Ah. There we go. All right. We're in. This pack kicks off with a Surge Foil Forest, followed by a Nesting Grounds. Then we're going to see ourselves a Soul Ring, uh, just some standard frame, foil from the main set, not high value. Then we get ourselves a Command Tower, followed by an Open the Vents. Then we're going to see ourselves a Drowned Catacomb with a Diamond City in Extended Art, a Shadow Blood Ridge in Extended Art with a Ferris Lake. Then we're going to see ourselves a Panamarnicon, followed by a Diamond City in the Surge Foil Treatment. Then we're going to see Wake the Past with a Pure Steel Paladin in Surge Foil. And behind that, we're going to see ourselves a Rad Storm in Showcase with an Atomize also coming in in Showcase with a Food and a Zombie Mutant. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen any bobbleheads, uh, even though they are not, uh, you know, not looking necessarily for a serialized one, just for a standard bobblehead. Uh, there are quite a few uncommons in this set valued over a buck um, compared to other sets of magic. Got ourselves a swamp, followed by a junk jet. Then we're going to see a morbid opportunist. Then we're going to see a path of ancestry with a mystic forge. Then we're going to see ourselves a nesting ground, followed by Preston Garvey Minutemen with a sheltered thicket. Then we're going to see ourselves uh, an overcumbered with a Sun Petal Grove. Then we're going to pick up Cass uh, Hand of Vengeance coming in the Surge Foil with a Moss Fire Valley. And then we're going to see a Rampant Growth. And our showcase is going to be a Specimen 73, which is a Hornet Queen non-foil. And behind that, we're going to see a Securion Squadron uh, in foil with radiation and a copy token. All right, we're down to five packs. I hope we get to see a few more of the borderless uh, pit boy uh, treatments. Uh, that's what this is all about, is these guys up here. So we got ourselves the swamp, 
followed by the wise mothman coming in from the main satin foil. Then we're going to see ourselves a lethal scheme, followed by an armory paladin with a command tower in surge. Then we're going to see an infesting rad roach also in surge, followed by a Hancock ghoulish mayor with a sungrass prairie. Then we get uh, Des Desmonda Freedom's Edge in uh, foil extended art with a Temple of Silence. And then we're going to see ourselves Megaton's Fate in Surge with uh, Dark Water Catacombs, then a Hinterland Harbor. And behind that, we're going to see ourselves a Nuclear Fallout coming in. Very nice. And a Synth Infiltrator in the Surge Foil Showcase Treatment. Then we're going to see Food and we're going to see a Wasteland Survival Guide. All right, four more packs to go. Really want to see one of those guys in Surge Foil. I think the lowest value uh, of all of those in Surge Foil is around 30 bucks. So we got ourselves an island here, followed by a Marshall Camp or a Marshall Coup. Then we're going to see ourselves an Ash Baron with a Masterwork of Ingenuity, Sentinel Sarah Lyons. Then we're going to see ourselves a Farseek with Harold and Bob First Newmans. Then we're going to see ourselves a Sunken Hollow with Rose Cutthroat Raider. Then we're going to see a Masterwork of Ingenuity with Curie Emergent Intelligence in the Surge, a Champion's Helm in the Surge, and then we're going to see ourselves an Almost Perfect. Following that, we're going to see ourselves a Command Tower coming in in that Borderless Treatment non-foil. And behind that, we're going to see ourselves a Foil Vats with an Energy Reserve and a Squirrel Token. All right. So we got uh, two foil, two non-foil, no surge foils yet of that treatment. Fingers crossed. All right, so there's a uh, foil or uh, surge foil planes, followed by Preston Garvey Minutemen. Then we're gonna see a Talisman of Conviction, Rogue's Passage, followed by an Intelligence uh, Bobblehead coming in. So our first Bobblehead, uh, non-serialized. Then we're gonna see ourselves a Temple of Deceit, followed by Marcus Mutant Mayor, and then a Basilisk Collar. Then we get ourselves a Feral Ghoul, followed by a Wind Brisk Heights. Then we're going to see an Overcumbered in Surge with a Canyon Slow and a waste, uh, Wasteland Raider. Behind that, we're going to see Prime Mirelurk uh, Queen, which is the Hullbreaker Horror coming in in the showcase treatment. Very cool. And then behind that, we're going to see a Toxic Sheep Squatch, which again is the Gem Razor. Then we get Junk and a Settlement in the back. All right, awesome. Two more packs to go. This one kicks off with an island. Then we're going to see the Wind Brisk Heights, followed by a Ruthless Rat Rat. Then we're going to see a Chaos Warp and Surge with a Temple of Epiphany. Uh, Nightkin Ambusher with Veronica Distant Scribe coming in in the Extended Art Nonfoil with a Temple of Silence, and then we get Cast Hand of Vengeance with a Treasure Vault. And then behind that, we're gonna see ourselves a T45 Power Armor. Uh, this used to be a really expensive card, but it has come down. That's in Surge Extended Art with a Guardian Project. And then we're gonna see a Struggle for Project Purity. And directly behind that, we're gonna see the Watchful Ragstag with, ooh, a Foil Farewell coming in. Very nice to see that, that is awesome. Uh, and then we get a treasure and a robot in the back. I really wish that was in Surge Foil. The um, Surge Foil Farewell uh, in the Pit Boy treatment is uh, right around $50. So let's jump into our last pack here. Let's get something amazing. Oh, I think we got an upside down card. So we got ourselves a uh, Surge Foil Mountain, and we do have an upside down card. Uh, so we're going to see Sean, Father of Synths. Maybe that means uh, good luck. We got a Paladin Elizabeth Tragedy with uh, Ian the Reckless. Then we're going to see ourselves in Ash Barons, followed by Vault 12 the Necropolis, a Pip Boy 3000 in Extended Art Nonfoil, a Canyon Slow. Then we're going to see uh, Marsaposa Military Base with Wake the Past. Then we're going to see Rampaging Yao Guai in Surge with a Temple of Mystery. Then we're going to see a Survivor's Med Kit in Surge, followed by um, 
Razuka, Terror of Point Lookout, which is Ayala, Queen Among Bears. And behind that, we are gonna get the Nuka-Cola vending machine coming in in the Surge Foil Borderless treatment. This is amazing. This card is valued uh, just north of $75. So awesome to see that. Hooray, best card that we pulled the entire box and it's our last card, if you don't count the radiation and the human soldier. So that was awesome. All right, so let me get everything sorted, organized, and I'll come right back with the MTG box analysis. Let's get things started by reviewing the contents of the box. Using this chart, we can see the set shaded in gray, the non-foils we observed in green, and the foils in orange. In collector booster packs, the only non-foils you can see are showcase, borderless, and extended art. In today's box, we ended up seeing 10 showcase, two borderless, and 24 extended art cards. In the foil space, we saw 54 standard frame cards. We also picked up seven more showcase, three borderless, and 24 extended art cards, plus the box contained 48 surge foils. Moving into coverage, in the non-foil space, we saw 36 unique cards from the 202 cards we were eligible to see. This gave us 18% coverage. In the traditional foil space, we saw 93 unique cards, which gave us 18% coverage of the 528 cards available in this treatment. As I mentioned earlier, we saw 48 surge foils, and because there was no duplication, we covered 9% of the cards available in surge foil. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, in today's box we saw one of the four uncommons in non-foil for 25% coverage. We also picked up 32 of the 184 rares for 17% coverage and three non-foil mythics for 21% coverage. In the foil space we saw 21% of the commons and 14% of the uncommons, along with 59 of the 368 rares for 16% coverage and seven foil mythics for 30% coverage. In the Surge Foil treatment, we saw 8% of the commons and 5% of the uncommons, along with 36 rares for 10% coverage and 1 Surge Foil Mythic for 4% coverage. In the end, this box contained 8 commons, 20 uncommons, 129 rares, and 11 mythics. From a duplication standpoint, this box was very low. We only saw 3 cards with the same frame and foil treatment. Before getting into the value of today's Collector Booster box, let's take a look at the current value of the Fallout set. In collector booster boxes, you can see up to 78 cards valued over $10, including all seven serialized cards, 60 cards from the Surge Foil series, seven borderless, as well as one showcase and three artifacts from the main set. There's also 99 cards valued between $5 and $10, and an amazing 475 cards in the $1 to $5 range. The other 410 cards in the set are valued under $1. Now let's recap the actual observed value that we saw in today's box, starting off with a look at the non-foils. In today's box, we saw one card valued over $10, and it was the Borderless Ravages of War valued at $22.26. We also picked up two cards in the $5 to $10 range and 10 cards in the $1 to $5 range. The other 23 non-foils in the box are currently valued under $1. In the traditional foil space, we saw four cards valued over $10. We saw the Showcase Wise Mothman valued at $18.79, the Borderless Farewell valued at $19.16, the Borderless Ravages of War valued at $23.50, and the Borderless Nuka-Cola Vending Machine valued at $36.37. We also picked up three cards in the $5 to $10 range and 36 foils valued between $1 and $5. The remaining 53 traditional foils in the box are valued less than a buck. Finally, in the Surge Foil space, we saw two more cards valued over $10. We saw the Showcase Synth Infiltrator valued at $16.29 and the Borderless Nuka-Cola Vending Machine in Surge Foil valued at $76.18. Plus, we picked up five more Surge Foils in the $5 to $10 range and 32 valued between $1 and $5. The remaining nine Surge Foils in the box are currently valued less than a dollar. So how did this box perform? Well, the market price for this box as of April 2nd is up about $7 since Tuesday to $447.41. The Fallout Collector Booster Box contains 12 packs, each with 15 cards, allowing us to see 180 cards plus tokens. The 12 tokens have a current market value of $12.46. The 12 basic lands that we saw are valued at $18.75. The 8 commons that we saw are valued at $11.51, but the 20 uncommons are valued at an amazing $156.76 thanks to the two borderless Nuka-Cola vending machines. The 129 rares that we pulled are valued at $240.47, and finally, the 11 mythics are valued at $79.28. 
Add it all up and the grand total for this box comes up to be $519.23 in card market value, which is a gain of $71.82 over the current market price for the box and means that this box returned 116% of the market price in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards valued just over $2, the numbers look like this. In total, we saw 56 cards valued over two bucks in this box, and they have a current combined value of $411.68, which means that those 56 cards only represent 92% of the market price for the box. Now, because I was able to pick up this box for a pretty steep discount at pre-order, the actual cost was $241.93 plus shipping and taxes. This means that the actual gain for me was $277.30 and a return of 215% of my cost, excluding taxes. And those cards valued over $2, well, they make up 170% of the pre-order price, which means that I'll be listing quite a few of these cards on my TCG Player Store. You'll find a link in the description of the video if you're so inclined. When comparing the two collector booster boxes that we've opened, both yielded over $500 in card value, but both fell short of the current market price in the cards greater than $2. This means that the current market prices, these boxes are very high risk. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, do something amazing. Get early access to videos, download the analysis for every box open on the channel, and personally DM me, just like these fine people, all by becoming a member of the channel through YouTube or over at mtgboxanalysis.com. You'll find links in the description. Until next time, do something amazing.